sings. We do need Jesus Christ. Amen. I thank God for my salvation tonight. Tonight, I just want to touch on a subject real quick about a sin-shaped generation tonight. Amen. I was reading the news because I like to just, you know, catch up and see what's going on in the world, pay attention to, you know, it's, it, sometimes I get so caught up in my little bubble that I'm like, you know what, this is just you, Jim, but I like to read the news sometimes so I can see exactly what's going on in the world. And I came across some stories, amen, I'm just going to share them with you real quick so you can see the wicked generation that we live in, amen. There's a story, the first story I'm going to share with you tonight, it says, a nursery, which is, sorry, I have an accent. So forgive me if I pronounce some words wrong, okay? But a nursery worker intentionally hung a one-year-old child in her care. Police says the 16-month-old boy was rescued by a parent dropping off different children at the daycare. The woman then fled in her minivan, striking two people before attempting to take her own life by jumping off a bridge, but she was stopped by some bystanders. That's just one story, amen. Next, I was, uh, I was talking to one of my buddies, this is uh, actually just yesterday, and his mom, she's a correctional officer, uh, works at the prison, so she has the, the fun job of you know talking with these prisoners and seeing why some of them are in there. She said this one guy was sharing the story with her, and it vexed me as I heard the story, amen? The story went like this. He said that there was a nine-month-old baby running around the house, no clothes on. This grown man decided that he said the baby was flirting with him and decided to do wicked things. You grown-ups know what I'm talking about. That shows you how wicked this generation is, amen? So I've begun to ask God tonight, God, what's going on? What's going on in this world, God? What is the problem? And the Holy Spirit quickened this scripture to me. It says in Matthew uh, 24, verse 12, sin will be rampant everywhere, and the love of many will grow cold. That word rampant means uncontrolled, widespread, out of control. That's how sin is going to be, amen? See, my boss asked me a question the other day. He said, it was quite amazing, the statement that he made. But then he took it completely a different way. So I'm like, come on, man. What's going on? But he said to me, he's like, God is almighty, right? And all powerful. I said, yes, he is. I'm excited at this point. Then he said, well, then why did he make us all perfect then? So I'm like, you know what? God did make us perfect. He made Adam and Eve. I'm just going to, most of you guys know the story of Adam and Eve. God made them perfect, amen. They were able to, you know, they were able to sit there with, with big lions and tigers that are not eating them up. It, it was a perfect world before sin, amen. And maybe if you're here tonight, you think you live in the perfect world. I want to see you sit next to a lion, amen. Go ahead and sit next to a lion and jump in an ocean with a shark and see how perfect the world is. But before sin, the world was perfect, amen? See, it would have been a perfect world. We probably would have lived a perfect life. But because Adam and Eve sinned, that perfect world does not exist today. And our relationship with God was broken or violated, you can say. So remember tonight what sin is. Sin separates us tonight from God. And that sin tonight will take you to a place called hell. See, but before you sit here and you say, you know what, I'm nothing like those people that you mentioned in those stories. I haven't done anything that bad. I'm nothing like them. Wait a minute. The Bible says tonight that all have sinned. I'm going to say that one more time. All have sinned. Every single one of us, including myself, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. See, but there's hope tonight that even though all this madness is going on in the world, and because of sin, our relationship was broken or violated, and we're separated from God, there's hope tonight that Jesus Christ loves you in this place, that God sent His one and only Son to die for our sins. 
that we can have relationship with him. See, when you give your life to Jesus, it, it, it becomes, you know, we're not perfect at all. But because of what Jesus has done, that makes us perfect in the eyes of God. Amen. So you accept Jesus Christ tonight. You give your life to Jesus tonight. It's going to completely mend that void tonight. Because, like I said, because of sin, friends, we're separated from God. And we all have sin tonight. I want to just encourage you tonight that there is hope. It doesn't matter what you've done. It doesn't matter even what you're going through right now. That you can change, amen? With Jesus on your side, you can do anything. The Bible says that all things are possible for God. And I love what my brother mentioned. The Bible says that anyone in Christ is a new creation tonight. So there's hope tonight that you can change. You don't have to die and go to hell. The Bible says that God wishes that none should have to perish, that all should come to repentance. But you got to decide tonight, amen? Are you going to choose heaven? Or are you going to choose hell? The Bible also says, friends, that tomorrow is not promised. We're here today and we're going tomorrow. You see so many people dying every day. We might be here healthy right now, but we never know. When it can be our last day. So I ask you, what are you waiting on? Choose tonight, heaven or hell, and have every head bowed and every eye closed.